So, a major move is underway that could position Ghana as the electric vehicle hub for West Africa. The country is in advanced talk with the world's largest EV maker, China's BYD, to build a new assembly plant right here in Ghana. Ghana's ambassador to China, Kojo Bonsu, recently met with BYD executives in Shenzhen. The focus was creating a factory in Ghana that could serve as a strategic hub for the entire West African EV market. During a tour of BYD's facility, Ambassador Bonsu didn't just want to import finished cars. He urged BYD to transfer technology and skills, emphasizing Ghana's goal is to, and we quote, build our own capabilities in electric vehicle manufacturing. The BYD team agreed, stating that training local engineers and workers could be a core part of any deal. So why is Ghana an attractive partner? Officials are pitching the country's strategic location, economic stability, and business-friendly environment. And Ghana already lead West Africa in EV adaptation. By the end of last year, 2024, Ghana had roughly 17,000 electric vehicles on its roads. The vast majority are two- and three-wheelers, taxis, and delivery scooters, largely assembled locally using Chinese pass. But there is a significant hurdle. The charging infrastructure is minimal. As of this year, there were only seven public charging stations in the entire country, and all are located right here in the capital city, Accra. This severely limits the practicality of EVs for longer journeys. To overcome this and accelerate the transition, the government is rolling out incentives. Newly proposed policies include an eight-year import tax exemption for locally assembled EVs and electric buses. The goal is to make electric mobility more affordable and attract major manufacturers like BYD to set up shops. The potential economic benefits are substantial. The proposed BYD plant is expected to create hundreds of jobs and stimulate economic growth. The vision is to assemble affordable EVs tailored for the African market built by Ghanaian workers. This move is part of a larger continental shift. Across Africa, electric mobility is gaining momentum. Nigeria recently cut import duties on EVs by 50%. Rwanda and Kenya are expanding charging networks. Chinese EVs are currently facing tariffs in the West. The European Union is going ahead with extra tariffs on Chinese-made electric vehicles, triggering fears of a wider trade conflict. Tariffs of up to 45% will come into effect on Wednesday and last for five years. It brings to a close a year-long probe by the European Commission into whether China gives unfair subsidies to EV makers. So, Chinese automakers like BYD, Sherry and Bayak are now viewing Africa as a key growth market. Experts project Africans' EV market could grow by 25% annually over the next five years if infrastructure challenges are met. Ghana's plan BYD plant is a major step in that direction. It's not just about supplying new vehicles, it's about developing local industries and expertise. If successful, Ghana's bet on green industrial future could power the road ahead for the entire region. And that is all for today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. Please let us know your thoughts and suggestions on this in the comment section below. My name is Sharif Harana and this is AS1 Report. Have a joyful life and see you in the next one. Macrao.